at the beginning of the tour, they give you a card with the child's picture on it. You can find out who they were and what camp they were sent to. And at the end of the tour, you can find out if they survived. I got a little girl from Italy. My little boy died. He got off the train and they killed him. I don't know why it bothered me so much. I've seen death all my life. But this little boy was only five. Miss G had a beautiful dinner for us at the hotel where she works. She invited real Holocaust survivors from the museum to meet us. There was Elizabeth Mann. I had my parents, my sister, my two brothers. Gloria Angar. Many of you have seen someone with a number on their arm. These were the lucky people, the people who when they came to Auschwitz, when they tattooed the people, they took us to do the slave work not the others, and that included many so of my we, uh, we, so, Some of the young kids, I was at that time 11 and a half years old. Eddie Eli. And where to go, I didn't know, but I remember one place where I used to live. So when I ran there, there was not one Jew left. I was in the worst camp. I was in Auschwitz. And Renee Firestone. And when I arrived, my parents were immediately taken away from me. My little sister, who was then 14 years old, stayed with me for a little while. And then later on, I was separated from her also. She lost her whole family and at the camps. If you saw the film, she came to this country with four dollars in her pocket and a newborn baby. I'll never forget these people. I can't believe Miss G did all of this for us. <laughs> 